I think my favorite memory of Mamu, or maybe not my favorite, but probably one of the earliest ones that I have, so that makes it one of the more fond ones that I have, is going to her house before school. Um, this is when she lived uh, at whatever it was, not the 96th Street house, but the one with the cherry tree in the backyard. I was too little to remember. Um, and I would go there and I would watch Maggie and the Ferocious Beast on TV. Um, and on days that I was sick, I would stay at Mamu's house and she would always make me chicken noodle soup. And that always made me feel better. And that is definitely one of my earliest favorite memories of Mamu. My favorite Mamu memory is not one memory in particular, but just something I remember, um, which is when we were kids, we used to go over to the Harcourt house all the time. And I remember um, you, just the backyard and playing in the sandbox um, and swinging on the swing. And I remember I had just gotten um, my first BMX bike and it was fixed gear and you used to take us to the parking lot over by the school and I would ride as fast as I can and hit the brakes to see how far of a skid mark I could make. Um, so it's not one memory in particular, but that is just something that I remember and it's a good memory. My favorite memory with Mamu is every day before elementary school, uh, mom would drop me off at her house and I would sit in her little nest and we would watch Fairly Odd Parents or Phineas and Ferb before I got on the bus. My favorite Mamu memory is um, standing on her couch at the pink house. For some reason, her old house looked pink to me when I was little growing up, so I called it the pink house and I would stand on her couch and would look through the little cutout window in her kitchen and watch her make yummy noodles and she would feed me the dough. Um, another favorite memory of mine is going over to Mamu's house with the grandkids and promising her that we were all mature enough and um, grown up enough to watch E.T. that we wouldn't get scared and then every single time we put it on we'd all be too scared to watch the cornfield scene. Um, and we'd run out and we'd have like competitions to see who could like stay in the room without getting scared and running away first. Um, and lastly, I love my memories uh, of Mamu putting me on the bus in the morning. Um, it's super cool that my grandma was someone that I got to see every single day, five times out of the week. Um, and just getting to watch the price was prices right with her in the morning. Um, along with Fairly Odd Parents was always really fun. Or Fairy Odd Parents, Fairly Odd Parents. I don't know the title anymore, but those are my favorite memories with Mamu. My favorite memory of Mamu is going to her house on Harcourt Road and going grocery shopping in her kitchen. I would grab a little grocery bag, like a a uh, Kroger bag, for example, and go grocery shopping. And Mamu would say, you can pick five things. And so I would be so excited to take my little bag and go grocery or grocery shopping through her baby blue cabinets in her Harcourt Road kitchen. It's my favorite memory. I love it. One other favorite memory. Um, my, one of my best memories of Mamu is all of her Christmas decorations and specifically on one of her old Christmas trees she had these little plastic um, candy garland and I have tried to find something similar anywhere. They look like little like lifesavers and then there's peppermints on them. Those are my all-time favorite decorations and I want to do something like that for my kids because there was such a, there was just like, Mamu made Christmas so wonderful and there was just so much like Christmas joy and Christmas spirit every time at Mamu's house because of her amazing trees and decorations. So, can never have too many decorations for Christmas. My favorite Mamu meal by far has to be her Thanksgiving yummy noodles. I look forward to it every single year. Speaking of, my favorite Mamu meal is definitely when you would make us your homemade fried chicken. 
Um, I always loved whenever it was homemade fried chicken night at your place. Um, yeah, that still is hands down my favorite meal. It just feel good and it makes you feel good. Um, yeah, fried chicken for sure. I don't know if I can say what my favorite Maymoo meal is. Um, I mean, I love her noodles. I love her mashed potatoes and gravy. I love her fried chicken. Um, I love Mamu's chocolate pie. There was even a period of time there where Mamu would not put the meringue on her chocolate pie because I didn't care for the meringue at one point or another, but I do like it now. Um, I love Mamu's macaroni salad. That stuff has always been amazing. Um, yeah, it's hard for me to pick a favorite. My favorite Mamu meal. Um... I don't know if it's a meal specifically or just favorite Mamu food, but chocolate pie and coconut pie and potato salad and macaroni salad and fried chicken and mashed potatoes and green beans. All the things. All of the, like there's food that's Mamu food and anytime I see it or eat it, it's Mamu food. And of those things I mentioned, Nobody can like make them like Mamu. Favorite Mamu meal, other than yummy noodles, duh, um, would probably be her chocolate pie or her, her <clears throat> fried chicken. Mamu makes some mean fried chicken. Well, shit, Helen. I think my favorite Mamu quote um, and this might be others as well, but it's just so memorable. It was the time that we were at the 96th Street house and we were in the dining room and I can't remember what we were eating. Um, maybe it was fried chicken and mashed potatoes or something to that effect. But Brady started to choke on <laughs> whatever it was he was eating. And I remember Mamu standing up and walking up behind him and you know, Mamu always had nice place settings and things at that time and she just went up behind Brady and went <laughs> right into his back a couple of times and got it right out and just goes don't get it on my tablecloth and that is still today or to this day <laughs> um yeah one of the funniest Mamu quotes of all time so my favorite Mamu quote um isn't really a quote more like the stories and the songs that she would sing and tell us I love the, um, oh little Brianna, come out and play with me, climb down your cherry tree, na 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 na, I don't even know all the words, but I love that song, and I love the story of Baby Bear and the Mean Old Hunter, and, um, I guess, quote-wise, if I really had to pick one, it would be, uh, well shit, Helen, and using your mother's name in vain. <laughs> at all expenses that you can any and all expense <laughs> so ridiculous but i love it <laughs> my favorite mamu quote i'm sure that you will know what it is but that one time that we were at your house and you had made us fried chicken for dinner and we were i was at one end of the table and you were at the other and i remember that i started choking and you got up and you walked your way over to the other side of the table and you slapped my back and I remember you said don't get that shit on my tablecloth um, and that still to this day is my favorite Mamu quote my favorite Mamu quote not really a quote but honestly has to be whenever she calls somebody by the wrong name and then she corrects herself like a thousand times um, I know there's a lot of us so it's a lot to keep track of but it always makes me laugh Something that Mamu has taught me is to just love everybody and treat everybody like family and hug everybody. And Mamu has always accepted my friends as her own kids or grandkids. She has, I mean, she's the lady at the grocery store that would hug you if you were having a bad day and you're a stranger. Like she just, like, all people are her people. And that's something that I have tried to emulate. Something life. that Mamu taught me is 
how to love people unconditionally. She loves her grandbabies more than anything, and I see that every single time that she's around them, and I will never forget specifically when Leo was born, and I remember Britt and Brian and Leo were in town, and we went over to see Mamu, and Mamu was holding Leo when he was just teeny, teeny, tiny, and rocking him and singing, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine, and I was just sitting there bawling. I was like, oh my gosh. But it's just a testament to show that Mamu loves her grandbabies more than anything, and she loves her family more than anything. Something that Mamu taught me is that she taught me um, to not take shit from anybody. Um, she's stubborn as all can be. And sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad and to a fault. Um, but she taught me to, to stand your ground and, um, yeah, to not let people push you around. And that's something that I really, really appreciate and value. So. Mamu taught me to, yeah, be stubborn in a good way. If there's anything that Mamu taught me, it's to just do whatever I want. Um, obviously, you know, treat people with kindness and, and all those other things, but Mamu has always been uh, the type of person who, if there's something she wants to do, whether that's live with Ellie, her cat, and not give up pets or, you know, have, you know, uh, a cooking range in her apartment or stay up till one in the morning making cookies or go on a walk at whatever hour or whatever it is, Mamu has always um, put that kind of first and I respect that and um, I think that's important. So yeah, that's what Mamu's taught me. So there's a lot of things that Mamu has taught me, but I would say that First and foremost, she's taught me how to nurture. Um, yeah, just how to be a loving person that has almost no capacity for, like no limit to how much I can love. Um, and just how to accept people into my home and my space and just as my own, whether they're um, family, friend, stranger, or otherwise. Um, and I'd say that Mamu also taught me a lot about how to play like when I grew up like growing up I just always wanted to go to Mamu's and play and it was a place that like you really could just go and play and just have fun and be a kid and um, so I guess Mamu taught me how to just be a kid. Something I love about Mamu is she, frankly, does not give two craps. <laughs> um, she's sassy, and I love it. And she, she's not afraid to speak her mind and share her opinions. And she is very, um, she's a great role model and is very strong in that. And has always um, helped me feel confident and loved, and like I'm important. And she definitely exudes a lot of confidence herself and um, definitely can be stubborn at times, but that's what we love about Mamu, right? My favorite thing about Mamu is her hugs and the feeling that I've always gotten from her hugging me or snuggling me or just, I'm not a huge fan of physical touch if you know me well you know that about me but I very vividly remember and feel the feeling that I feel from Mamu's hugs and Mamu's snuggling and if I sit down next to her on the couch and if I'm sad or if I'm having a bad day it's all of her empathy and compassion can be passed through to you through one hug or one kiss or one snuggle and that's pretty cool the thing that I love the most about Mamu um, is just always remember her being so loving um, 
and she still is. I'm not saying you're not, you're not dead yet. Um, but I just remember Namu always hugging us and loving us and caring for us and holding us and she'd always give us big hugs or she'd just give us a hug as we walked by or call us her baby boy or her baby. Um, so I just remember Mamu and just the love that she always gave and it was always genuine and so filling. Um, so yeah, Mamu's love is something that I will always remember about Mamu. The thing that I love the most about Mamu, or maybe not the most, but the thing that comes to mind uh, when I answer this question, is Mamu has always loved me the same way, no matter how old I am. Um, obviously the way she shows it, or talks to me, or whatever, is different, but I have always felt like Mamu um, sees me as her Bricey boy. Um, and I don't think that that's ever going to change, and that's really special. So that's something that I love about Mamu is how she loves everybody else. It's hard for me to pin down one thing that I love most about Mamu, but if I have to, then I'd say it's her capacity to love everyone and distribute that love evenly across the board. Um, I think it's such a testament to her character that she's made such a lasting impact in the lives of her kids, but then also her kids' kids and her kids' kids' friends and the strangers that she's welcomed into her, her space. And um, I just really look up to that and admire her um, her strength emotionally and mentally, like to deal with that many people at once and constantly love on them and make them feel welcome. Um, and that's definitely one of the reasons I, I love her so, so much. Come to my house soon. Bye!